Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I just want to have a go at making sort of like a little um, folder to keep all my ready-made um, vintage ephemera bits that I've been making lately. So like these little postcards and, and the little tags that we've made as well. So that's what I want to do for this. I've already cut out some paper, well it's card, into like little folders. Now the first one is when it's folded in half it's 8 by 11 and a half okay so then that just sort of like opens up like a little file folder this one is 8 by 8 and a quarter like that so that just opens up and then we've got the smaller one which is 7 by 6 and a quarter and all I've done I've just gone round the edges with some ink um, and then what I would like to do I've already cut some paper to size now these papers I have had in my stash which are already being ready printed so I've just cut them down now these are papers from I think this is roses in collage we've got the old time rose and I think it was the shabby chic French collection so these are just papers that I had already had printed so I thought I'd put this one on the front so it's pretty so I've just cut them down so that they would have a piece on each side just so the paper has been covered up now they're a nice neutral color so they would go really well so that's what I'm planning to do so I will stick those on I've got this one which is really nice as well so this is from roses in collage no it's not it's from old time rose and I thought that would look quite nice on the front like that so I'm going to use that as the sort of like front cover um, and then I'm going to I think I'm sort of making this up again as I go along I thought I would just pop them down like this just so they all sort of like go at the bottom um, and then we've got this lovely little sort of folder that just we can make little um, pockets in here as well uh, just to pop some little bits and pieces in so the first thing that I am going to do um, I want to quite I want to make it sort of like quite simple um, so it's quite easy to do so again make it whatever size you like to do I'm just going to stick these on just like that really really simple so I'm just going to take my glue stick um, and then just glue it all down now I probably will um, sew around the edge of each one as well um, I'm going to see what it all looks like glued down first um, so I will do this I will glue it down and then I will come back and show you what it looks like so you don't have to watch me glue all the pieces on so that will be very boring and very time consuming for you all so I'm going to just show you what it looks like anyway the first piece just stick this on I'm just using regular glue stick so whatever glue stick you've got like that or whatever glue you like to use but I do like to use glue stick because it's sort of a, a dry glue and it's not going to wrinkle up your paper it's easy to use so there we go so all I'm going to do now is cover the whole of these with the bits of paper so I will be back okay so I've covered these and I think they look really really nice so that's what it looks like inside on the other side and then this is the middle one so that just opens up like that and then we've got the smaller one here so they've all been nicely covered and it sort of like makes them a little bit stronger as well so the next thing i want to do is just sort of like reinforce this sort of like spine bit so i've got some bits of um uh, this is coffee stained cotton that i had which was an old sheet now i've torn a couple of pieces here so all i'm going to do is just stick them down the middle on either side I've got this one for that one so I just need to do the smaller one here so I just need two pieces so if I just rip this in half or let me just measure it first about there 
I don't mind if this is all scruffy. I want it to be sort of like a little bit scruffy. I think it looks quite nice then. Right, so what I'm going to do, that pick goes with that one. Let's get them all. And I'm just going to glue it through the middle here. And then I will sew it um, just so it will stay in place. Just like that, make sure we've got, got it in the middle. There, I believe so. I'm going to turn this over. Pop this down the back. Just a little bit of glue. A little bit of glue stick. Again, if you don't have a sewing machine and you don't want to sew, you can just use a little bit of fabric tack or something on here, which will help it stick down a little bit better. So that's that one. So I will go to the machine in a minute and just sew down either side. Pop that to the side, which will do this little one here. Again, just a little bit of glue stick down the middle to hold it in place. Well, like I said before, I just want to make just a quick, easy little folder, little holder, um, nothing too fancy, just to keep them in. Just so they're all together and they're on my shelf, um, ready to go, because I do have things in sort of like little boxes, little clear boxes, um, but I think they would look really nice on in um, a little folder. Let's get rid of that little piece. So that's that one. A little bit wibbly wobbly, but that's okay. And then we'll just do the little one. Like that. Oops. These little bits out of the way. really nice like that and then these will just be sewn and then they can just go in together like that so that's really nice so I'm just going to pop off and just sew down the middle of these or not down the middle just either side of each one um, and then they can be sewn into place when we pop the pockets in so I will be back two minutes okay so i have sewn down the middle of these to keep that lovely piece of fabric on um just to um, reinforce the middle of the um spiny bit there so i've done that on all three of them um which i think looks really nice um, as you fold it up like that this one does poke out just a little bit here but um, I'm not too worried about that because it's just a little folder to put all our little bits and pieces in um, but if you wanted it obviously to line up just do this one slightly smaller um, which I should have done which is a bit silly really but never mind and what I thought I might do is just pop that one at the bottom and I think I might actually just to be different is put that one higher up just like that so when it folds up it's not all sort of like bulky at the bottom. It sort of like evens it out a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to work on the middle one first. I'm going to pop these to the side. Um, so I want to make a couple of pockets um, on the front and on the inside um, to put these sort of like little tags and bits into. Now I've cut some tracing paper here, which is sort of, which is, let me get my little book which is this one here, which is the Canson one. Um, I do have a link in my Etsy storefront, not my Etsy, the Amazon storefront. Um, so you can get that from in there or just have a look to see what I've got, um, which is a really good one. So I have cut this to, I think it was two and three quarter inches um, or about seven centimeters, um, the height of it like that so what i want to do i just want to put a piece in there i want to make some little pockets so 
I'm going to put that in there. Probably thinking about it, I should have put these on last and then I could have sewn it on as well. I'm just going to glue that down in there. So I want one piece in there and I'm going to take another piece which will sort of go over the top, just overlap that a little bit um, and pop that in there. And then I've got a smaller piece here which is wherever my ruler is gone which is about one and a half inches which is roughly about four centimeters so that piece then would go right up on the bottom of it like that just so they overlap almost equally like that and then we've got room to just a pop tiny little tags in in the bottom and then we can obviously see what they are so that's my aim and then I'm going to leave these pieces hanging off the end because what I want to do I want to put that on there and then I want to sew along here but I want to sew the other side at the same time so if I have this hanging off the outside I can line them up properly and sew it and then we could just cut cut it off afterwards so I want to just pop that on there just so that it doesn't matter if it pops out the top but I want to just make sure we're sort of level it doesn't have to be perfect and I'm going to use a little bit of um, fabric tack for this just pop a little bit in here lift that up like this pop that down so we want to go just in there and then along the bottom here just to hold it in place because I will sew it so just a tiny tiny little bit that can go there stick that on That will just stick in like that perfect put this one over the top here like that a little bit of glue down the side make sure we this bit here tiny little dot on here just to keep that in place Oops, I don't want to put that one on yet. I need to sew the top one first. Silly Billy. I'm going to be sewing on top of it, aren't I? So let's just stick that one on. What I do need to do is pop this on this side. So let me just take another piece. See if I can just lift that up just a little bit. So when I do that, that will be level on there. So realistically I should be able to sew along both sides at the same time. So let's just see, let's pop a little bit of glue in here. Like that. Tiny bit to keep this in place. So let's see if that will work. A little bit more glue just to hold that down there. Hold that in place, turn it over. Hold that in place like that. Okay, so realistically this should be in the same place as the other bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew along here. I'm not going to sew up there because I'm going to go around the whole thing. I'm just going to sew along the bottom piece. So let's see, I will be back two seconds. Okay, so there we go. Just 
chop that little bit off. Perfect. So that's so in exactly the right place. So that's perfect. Let's just chop that off like that. How lovely. So then maybe I will just just pop a little bit of glue along here. Just to hold that in place and again on the other side. Just here so they don't move. I don't want to cut them off until we have um, sewn them up along there. And then we've got little pockets on both sides. Lovely. So let's do this one. Let's just. I would definitely sew these on afterwards. So um, should have. Um, realize that but never mind so let's put that one on there like that a little bit of glue a little bit of glue just dotted on there so it doesn't move Pop that underneath might even, we'll see whether I'll go along there with a little bit of sew along there or I might even put a tiny little bit of lace on there as well just to make sure these pockets are going to stay in place they don't unpop. And then we'll pop this one on here, lift this up a little bit So much for it not being too complicated. Bit of glue. Make sure we are in the right place on there. Lined up. Let's give it a go, shall we? So I'm just going to quickly sew that one and see if that one works out. Okay, lovely. So that's sewn on there, perfect. Let's take these little bits of thread off. Like that. And like that. Perfect. And then we just want the smaller strip here which we are going to tuck in here and that will go right onto the bottom piece let's just open this up a little bit we can just stick this on because this just lines up with the bottom anyway so we can just pop a little bit of glue on there side a little bit of glue along the top and the bottom and get to this size was it this side mm -mm -mm. where's the other little piece here it is make sure we have the same sizes means we have a little pocket here, little pocket there and then we have the little pocket there. Perfect. So that looks really nice. So we've got that on both sides. 
which is really good so I'm just going to quickly sew along or maybe I will leave this bit I'm going to leave that bit and then carry on with the other side so we've got two at the same so I'm going to pop off I will do the other side exactly the same um, and then I will come back and show you okay guys I'll be back in a minute okay so I have finished this one I have popped the little pockets on all of the sides now um, and I've sewn around the um, outside of it as well um, to keep it all in there safe so now I am just going to cut the little extra bits off because obviously we don't need those so we'll just trim those little bits off like that let me go this way a bit easier like that all the way down so we can find something to do with these ones little bits there but I'm loving that I think that looks really nice now I've got a bunch of the little um, tags here so we've got the little diddy ones there then we have the bigger ones and the even bigger ones so this is going to have lots and lots of room in it as well so we've got bigger ones there like that so I think that looks really really nice like that so I've got lots and lots of room and then we've got the same again on the back so that's perfect so that's lovely for the middle one for the smaller one now here I've cut some more vellum on this one so this one obviously is going to go inside so I'm loving the look of that popped up to the side um, and we will do the middle one now I have got four pieces here and four pieces here so these are the pockets for this for this one and I have cut them let me measure we have got let's do inches first three and a half inches or nine centimeters now the, it's the same width as um, the paper pad the tracing paper pad which is 8.3 inches or 21 centimeters so I haven't altered that I've just gone with the with the height of it and the smaller pieces I have just cut uh, five and a half centimeters or two and a quarter inches okay so let's pop these bits to the side and what I wanted to do just put a bottom pocket here like that and then I've got the smaller one just at the top so this is easy peasy one um, again on both sides front and back so I'm going to do that um, so that's quite a simple one and I can stick them all down and then sew it all together because they're not overlapping so what I'm going to do I'm going to do the the bottom bit first so it goes up to here so let's just stick this piece down like that a little bit to the side pop this one on just make sure I am in view. Yes, I am. Stick that down like that, and then we will do this one. I'm going to, I think, I did have some um, coffee sa stained seam binding somewhere, which I think I will probably use to cover these little bits up. I'm going to just stick that on there like that this messy bit here which I should have really left to the last minute but never mind we learn by our mistakes don't we so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue down here just to make sure this is stuck down before we sew just like that. Perfect. Now we shall do this side. I will probably speed this up a little bit because you know exactly what I'm doing. So let's just pop
Okay, so there we go. I've glued all those down, made a bit of a gluey mess, but that's all done nicely. So I'm just hoping they all line up properly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and sew along the bottom here, and then I'm going to go all the way around it. So they're all um, sewing in properly. So I will be two minutes. Okay, so there we go. That's all sewn up nicely. Let's just clip these pieces off like that. And then I'm going to just chop the little extra bits off these sides like that. loving it so let's find let's have a look i've got a little postcard here so that would just oops, let's stick that down a bit better but these postcards fit in there perfect don't they might be a little bit big in the top one it doesn't matter like sticking out because that's going to be the top that's going to be inside anyway now i need to do something with this so I'm going to, that's way too much glue, I'm going to get my seam binding, Let's get this glue off my fingers. Now I've got this one here we need to do, let's just take these tags back out and pop them in my little pot. We don't need those in there for now, just need to strengthen it up a little bit just these edges so i have got let's take this i've got this lovely coffee stained seam binding let's do the smaller one first let's have a look so if i just put that down so you don't have to do this if you put the pockets on first and then put this down um you can skip this part but because i made a bit of a boo-boo um, we're going to have to just add a little bit of this. I'm going to add this, or you can obviously, again, add some lace to it. It's entirely up to you. Look, you've got nice big bits of coffee on there as well. Which I think it looks really good. So I'm going to pop that down there. Oh, I'm so sticky. Tiny, tiny bit of glue on here. I don't really want it to come through. So I'll just stick that down. Move it over a little bit just so it's little bit level and we're going to have to put one this side just like that just a tiny bit of glue on there perfect and then that is your middle bit net and we need to do the same on the other side so this is a bit of a palaver isn't it so never mind let's just cut these off a little bit of glue at least it's gonna we know that the pockets aren't going to fall off that's for sure let's stick this down chop the end off a little bit and tidy it up in the middle make sure that's the right place There we go. Perfect. 
perfect okay so I'm going to go and sew this up quickly tidy up a little bit and then that can be on there like that and then we can just trim these little bits off in a minute okay back in a sec okay so there we go I've just sewn around the bits of seam binding so it looks a little bit sort of tidier well not tidier but it looks really nice I think I'm just gonna just chop those little bits off just like that we don't need those little bits so oopsie daisy I'm liking this this is really nice so oh that's a bit big let's just see so yeah tags go in there lovely love it right so I'm going to now stick something down the sides now I've got some um lace here which is a really nice sort of like brownie lace and I thought this would look quite nice um stuck down here like that something a little bit different on here instead of the seam binding so I'm going to stick that down let's just chop that off there a little bit of glue so that can go down there like that stick this on that looks nice and pretty nice and vintage on there another piece this side a little bit of glue on not touching the middle bit that off turn it over stick this down oops my glue's a bit oozy out side perfect and we can stick this on there actually I quite like it I think it looks really nice it just adds a little extra to it so um, it's not really a mistake then is it so I'm just going to leave that to dry because I don't want that wet on my sewing machine. So let's just leave that quickly for a second to dry. And I think that looks really nice, doesn't it? Perfect. Okay, guys, so I shall be back two more seconds and I will be back and I would have sewn that. Okay, there we go, perfect. So I've just sewn in that lovely piece of lace in there. So that looks really pretty, doesn't it? Um, so where is the other one? So that would go on top in there like that. And then we've got the outside one to do. So what shall we do? So I was going to put this like that. Am I in short there? Yes, I am. But I think I might change again and just put them right in the middle. Shall I? Because I think I'm going to have to put five holes in this one because this isn't going to catch otherwise. Or I could just do the three holes here. We don't really need anything at the top, do we? We could just put the three holes there and sew that in. So that's all sewn in like that. That's good. Right, so we've done the two inside ones, which I'm loving. So these can just pop in there. So you can probably get quite a few little postcards and bits and pieces in here, which is nice. Like that all sorts of bits oh I'm really liking this I think it's really nice um, very easy to do as well 
Um, again, if you don't have vellum, you could just sort of like use um, some paper. Um, you could use book paper across here as well, um, which would look nice. But there we go. So I'm going to put those to the side. So now we need to do something with this. Um, I'm going to carry on, I think, using the tracing paper or the vellum here. And I just, I'm not going to put anything on the outsides because I just want it to slot in and out of my shelf and I don't want it to get caught on anything. So I just want it to sort of like open up. So I just need something to go on the back and the inside pages on the front, these two. Um, so let's see what we can do with a piece of this. I might put like just like a side pocket here. Double that up. We could actually we could, couldn't we? That's quite big enough. If I fold this in half like that, and then I think I will fold that back again on itself. I can put that on like this. It's trimming up just a little bit. So you could have a pocket here and also a pocket here. And I think I might just sew it down through the middle so it doesn't slip all the way down. You could have a pocket there and a pocket there, couldn't we? I think I might actually do the same on the other side. Let's just tear another piece out and do the same thing. Fold this in half like that. And then how much did I fold back? It doesn't have to be exact. Just like that. Perfect. So you've got two like that. So we've got a lovely big one here. Maybe I'll leave that one open as a big one and then just have two smaller ones. If I sew down there, I'm, but I'm, first of all, I think I'm going to sew along this bit. Maybe I'll pop, what should we have? Should we have a little bit of lace in between? Let's just unravel this a little bit. And I could actually just sandwich just a little bit of lace in between there, like that. Would look nice, wouldn't it? So then we've got a pocket here, pocket this side, and this can just go round the outside. Okay, so I need to just trim this down a little bit. There's my pencil. Let's just mark that off there like that. My little paper trimmer. Put that on there. Trim that down. So that is the right height on there. Perfect. So let's do the same on this side. mark there and just trim that off okay so let's take our little bit of lace here and get this cover out of the way put this underneath Way. Let's get it in the right place. So this would just go on there and then I can just sew that down through. And I think that would look really pretty, wouldn't it? So if I do it like this and pop, let's open it out so we don't get glue everywhere. A little bit of this 
just a tiny bit on here. pretty much straightish isn't it let's just what did I do with my scissors okay so I can trim that down or I can sew that and then we will do the same on this side Pop a little bit of glue down here doing there we go and chop that off so I think that looks nice now I just need to glue it down so it sticks to the back as well a little bit of glue on there I can always add some extra little embellishments over the top as well once we've done that. So let's stick that. That looks really nice. I think that one's already stuck down. There we go. I wonder if we could put a little bit of this over the top as well. Let's have a look. Let's find the end. There we go. I just don't really like that bit. I might just wrinkle that up as I go along. So that's what I'm going to do, I think. When I sew it, remember to open it up like that to sew so it doesn't sew. And I think I'm going to just pop that on there. And as I sew, I'm going to wrinkle it up like that. So it's on there. So then we've got the seam binding and the lace, which will should match in nicely I do believe so let's pop that on there this way around and then that on there as well okay that's what I'm going to do make it look all nice and pretty so I'm going to just quickly pop to the sewing machine um, and sew that down there and wrinkle that up at the same time as I sew so I will be two seconds Okay, so I have finished sewing these, so I think that looks really nice with a little bit of lace on there and the little bit of seam binding down the side. So, And I've also sewn through the middle of this one, so when I stick it down like this, um, I'm going to stick through the middle so we have two pockets um, the same size on there. And this one here, I'm just going to stick that down like that. Um, and sew around the outside so the first thing I want to do is just glue this little bit down here I can get my glue out just a tiny bit there oops and this side like that. so that can just stick down perfect so this has got a big pocket this side uh, a nice big long one and then you've got the big tuck in here as well so we shall stick this down and then we can just give it a quick sew all the way around um, the little folder so stick this down just a little bit just like that on the edge and then we can do this side as well let's glue this bit here so that sticks down 
just a little bit to keep it in place and then all the way around the edge and along this piece Stick this piece down. There we go, lovely. So I like that. I think that looks really nice. And the other thing that I was going to do, I've still got some little bits of this is like sheet, the one that I um, coffee stained. Um, and I was actually thinking of just putting it around the edge get rid of all these little pieces that we don't need just to glue it just for the like this this is the front so I was just gonna edge it like that just to finish it off so it looks like that so I'm not too sure on this edge so I think I might do that and it will make it look a little bit tidier I think so, shall I do it with a little bit of this? I might do it on all of them. Just edge it down. Side, stick this on. And then we can just, oops, needs to be level, doesn't it? Let's level it up a little bit. like that I think okay a little bit more glue didn't do that very well did I just so it's even it's probably better to do it like that and lots of pairs of hands and then I think it will just keep that in a little bit better Just makes it look a little bit grungy as well, which is quite nice, isn't it? I'm going to just chop a little bit off there. So that just like finishes that edge off. And let's do it down the back as well. See if I can do this one a little bit easier. So gloopy old glue coming out of here, I don't want that on there. Okay, there we go. Let's put the lid on here. It all oozes out everywhere. So that's stuck. Oops, I keep folding them the wrong way. And then we've got this one, and then we've got this one. So I'm just going to sew down the sides of here to keep them on, I think. And just leave the glue on there. I will sew it so it finishes it off nicely. So two seconds and I'll be back. Okay, so I've just finished sewing the edges on these, which I think they look really nice now. So I think that's probably nearly it. So all we've got to do now is sew these in together. So we pop them like this. 
and then we just need to make a hole through them and I'm going to leave this plain because again like I said I just want to pop it into my shelf and I don't want anything to sort of like catch on it I just want to be able to open it up and take some bits of ephemera out um, easy peasy so there we go so that sits in there so what I need to do now let me find my little pokey doll um, I have got my book here which I think probably will fit and then I've already got a needle here with some um, wax thread in it um, like that so what we need to do is just I'm going to have to sort of eyeball this a little bit because I'm not going to be able to clip it together so let's just take this and see if I can just pop that in there Make sure we're all up the right way. Pop this one through the middle there. One there. And then one there. Okay. Just pop this needle through there so we don't lose the hole. That's down. find my holes this way it's not the easiest one to do let's make sure we're a level there sorry if it's all blurry and fingers and thumbs pop down through there through there Just need to pull this a little bit. Go back through the middle. Let's make this a little bit longer. There we go. Let's see if we can get through the hole. Sorry about my wibbly wobbliness it's not going to go through is it it's not going to be that easy for me there's our middle there we go is that any easier there we go perfect put my needle in there make sure we're up the right way I'm going to pull this tight like that that's just got it here like that which is absolutely perfect and then we can just tie this up like that I'll just leave that dangling down for now And there we go there's our lovely little embellishment folder and i am loving it so let's pop some little bits and pieces in shall we right i've got all of these bits here that i can put in just from the ones that i've made um, over the last week in the last few times let's put the little ones in here obviously i think this is probably going to fit quite a few bits and pieces in here there's going to be lots and lots of space they can go in there we've got a little one to go in there how lovely smaller ones in there and we've still got the front here that we can pop them in they can go in there so we've got lots of room let's pop some of my big tags in the front Gosh, this is going to have lots of ephemera in it, I think. These can go 
them in here. And I've got a postcard that can go in the top there. I've got a postcard that can go slot in there like that. If you can see, let me just move these out of the way. That one fits in there. Oops. Like that. And then we also have room on this side like that. So we've got lots and lots of space. That one, oops, lots of bits of cotton everywhere as well. That can go in there. Pulled over. Gosh, I think I need to make some more ephemera now. This can go in there. Turn this over. A few more bits in here. One of my postcards. What have we got? We've got this little one where it can just slot in there and then also we have this side, don't we? So I'm um, loving this. Really, really lovely. Perfect little project and I'm not going to put a closure on it because I'm just going to pop it onto my shelf and then I can just flip it open and see what I can pop into my next journal that I make. Um, but I'm going to make, I think because I've got lots of my little ladies in here my little vintage ladies so I think I will make another one to put these into um, so I can see them so they're not in a um, little pot so I've got my little ones so I think I might make a little ephemera one even if I just do a couple of the little ones I could do it this size and maybe a smaller one in the middle so I think I will do that as well so that will be my next project so there we go guys i hope you enjoyed that um i really enjoyed making it and it was quite quick um and i loved it actually i was going to put i've got a couple of these little thingies here i'm gonna put one of my little flowers on there i think i might actually pop a little flower on here just to cover that little middle bit up there I think that would look really pretty on there just like that so there we go guys i hope you enjoyed that so it's just three pieces of card basically with some tracing paper or vellum and then we've just embellished it with some little bits of um cotton on here this little cotton sheet that I've got that I've dyed um, I think it was uh, coffee dyed on there um, a little bit of coffee dyed seam binding with a little bit of lace but I am loving it so there we go guys thank you so so much for joining me um, please stay safe take care and I will see you all next time all right guys bye bye